nicely done. Thank you. Looking good. Wow, I didn't realize I was the very first uh, winning, I suppose, for She's the First. Uh, this is a, a huge honor, so thank you to the Alumni Association, and congratulations as well to Andy, Kelly, and Jamal, and I'm very honored to be in your company. TCNJ is, is where I really came to create my identity, because I was infamously voted the most shy in my high school class. And when I came here, I realized that was going to change. Uh, so I majored in journalism because I would be forced to talk to strangers when I reported on my stories for The Signal. And that was one of the best things that I could have done. I didn't realize back then that being a first, the first in my family to graduate from college would become part of my identity, or that being a global citizen would become part of my identity. But an assignment from Professor Kim Pearson changed all of that when during my last semester at the college, she let me do an independent study to write about anything that I wanted um, so that I would have the time to go into New York City and intern at Ladies Home Journal magazine. And I told her that I wanted to write a story that I would read in the pages of Marie Claire about an inspiring woman. So she introduced me to one of her former students who is a refugee in the Liberian Civil War. Long story short, short, that put me on the path that led to the volunteerism and the global awareness uh, with which I would found She's the First. Um, what I could have never expected back then was how last year She's the First was in Marie Claire magazine. Um, I was part of a, a package of 20 women changing the world. And in, in that moment, I thought of you, Professor Pearson, and how um, you gave me, and TCNJ gave me the opportunity to really live the story that I always wanted to write as a journalism student. And uh, that reminds me so much of our scholars around the world. She's the first fund scholarships for girls in developing countries who will be the first in their family to finish high school. Our very first graduate, the first girl that we sponsored, Jancy in India, um, she once told me that you can't control the circumstances into which you are born, but everyone with an education has the chance to write the ending to their own story. Uh, so those girls are my inspiration every day, and I, am, I just want to close by sharing this recognition with my fellow alumni who are even younger than I, Jamie, Kim, and Amanda who are here. They founded the She's the First chapter on campus, and Kathleen Weber, their advisor, that chapter every day is multiplying the efforts that my team does um, in New York City by raising funds and awareness to sponsor girls around the world. And finally, there are my parents right up here, Scott and Cheryl Tibbetts, and they invested in my education more than anyone else since birth, saving money for me to go to college. My dad worked so many overtime shifts, and uh, because they invested in me, I've been able to invest in so many others, and I am, I am young, so I'm not done yet. I have many, many years ahead of me. Thank you. Um, and, and to all of you for being here, and especially to my amazing family and friends um, for being here as well. I really credit the experience that I had here at TCNJ for the, uh, the foundation that really set me on a path for social justice, and I'm really um, privileged and honored to do the work that I do every day, um, especially for the, the political science and women's and gender studies program, for the grounding that they gave me. So thank you so much, and um, enjoy the, the wonderful day. Thank you. Yay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Dr. Gittenstein, Board of Trustees members, Dr. Gittenstein's cabinet, um, alumni, family, and friends. Um, I'm humbled by this uh, award on today. I was looking over some famous quotes that I like to recite all the time, and it only led me yesterday to one by Martin Luther King Jr., where it says, it falls your lot to be a street sweeper. Sweep streets like Michelangelo, 
painted the Sistine Chapel. So I'm here, and what I do on a daily basis, what I do as an alumni, um, what I do for TCNJ, is be the best Jamel T. Johnson I could be. In 1997, when I stepped foot on campus as an ed educational opportunity fund student, um, I was given a task, and that was a task to always reach behind, and that's what I've been doing for EOF, that's what I've been doing for TCNJ. I love TCNJ, I love everything about it, um, so that's about it. I just want to thank uh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Boatwright who are here today. Um, I want to thank Talent who has continued to push me and urge me to continue doing what I do, and I want to give a special thanks to the four leading ladies in my life. Um, my wife, my two young children, Camille and Kennedy, and my mom, who don't mind you know, me being away on Saturday sometimes, who don't mind me staying late sometimes, and they always might ask, where am I? And they'll know I'm down at TCNJ at work. So thank you all, I love you, and I love you TCNJ. I love you. Thank you so much. I am so proud to be a TS, TCNJ. I was about to say Trent State College. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, good man. But I am so proud to be a graduate, and I'm proud too about all the uh, ev the evolution of this campus and what it represents. And I'm excited about the future under Dr. Gittenstein's leadership. I think uh, even brighter days ahead. Uh, I want to just congratulate my fellow nominees. I mean, Jerry, I was reading their bios earlier, such inspiring work you do day in and day out. Uh, for me, certainly the college provided a great academic experience, uh, but much more than that, it's the gift that keeps giving. Because 35 years ago, I met a woman by the name of Maria Grasso, uh, my sophomore year of college, love it. and she is uh, my best friend and the love of my life, and uh, and it get, keeps giving as well because I've got my younger guy Stephen here and my uh, my older son Jason, and uh, we just have a great life together. And it's also a gift that keeps giving because the friends I made here are still my best friends, and I appreciate uh, you all showing up today uh, to share in the celebration. Nice. So thanks very much for this recognition. I really appreciate it. Cheers.